Circuit Analysis Methods We have seen the two Kirchhoff's circuit laws KCL or Kirchhoff's current law and KVL or Kirchhoff's voltage law But where do we use them and how? In circuit analysis, we have circuits made up of many nodes and many meshes These circuits are a combination of series and parallel connection of elements Let us refresh what we know about series and parallel connections In series connections, the elements are connected end to end so that the same current flows through all of them What about the voltage across each? They will be different Higher resistance means higher voltage drop Why? Because from Ohm's law, we know that the voltage drop across a resistor is equal to the product of current and resistance as the current through the elements is the same, we can say that the voltage is directly proportional to the resistance. In the case of parallel connection, all the elements are connected such that the same voltage appears across each of them. Then the current through each element will be different. In this figure, we have two resistors connected across the nodes A and B. Current enters through one of the nodes and leaves through the other. For example, let the current enter through node A. At node A, the current has two paths. The current will prefer the least resistance path more. So, more current will flow through the smaller resistance. At node B, the currents from the two paths join and flow out of it. Ohm's law states that V is equal to I into R. In parallel connection, we have to find the currents. So, we rearrange this equation such that I is equal to V by R. As voltage across each element is same, we can say that the current I is inversely proportional to the resistance R. Let us come back to circuit analysis. The basic rules used in analysis of resistive circuits are 1. Kirchhoff's current law or KCL, Kirchhoff's voltage law or KVL, and Ohm's law. There are two basic methods for circuit analysis, mesh current method and node voltage methods. These methods use the Kirchhoff's laws to solve for the circuit variables current and voltage.